I haven't worn a cap in months. So today is a surprise guest that I've arranged for Joe. Yep. And uh, how are you feeling? Right, I've got a little confession. Do you know? No, I don't. But basically, we right, we oh. did. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Calm down. I was stressing about it because we'd just done Pete Waterman. And then I, I went... Oh, fucking, I've got another one tomorrow, fucking. Like, it was a bit like, and Petra said, don't worry, you'll like it. So she sort of took the pressure off me a bit, so I'm a bit more relaxed. I've, I've got Toby Foster type thing in my head. Right. I'm like, I'm like Can as, I... soon as, as soon as I saw Toby, I was like, oh! Hang on, it... Petra's... Was she texting me? Oh, she hasn't wound me up, has she? Oh, God, now I'm stressed again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So has she double okay. bluffed me? Uh, do you want to turn around? No, wait. Has she double bluffed me? Should I be stressed? Turn around. Just turn around. Oh wow! I'm immediately back to being stressed because you're you're pleased that I, right? You're pleased that I'm relaxed, and that's worrying me. Don't just text Pet because you're enjoying this. What's going on? Sorry. <laughs> turn around, turn around. I've immediately gone to not enjoying this again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Turn, turn around, buddy. I don't know why your behaviour's annoying Spin me. Spin around in that chair, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the way around, buddy. Why are you not annoyed that I'm... I can't work out why you're not annoyed. Makes me think it's not like a Toby Foster. And now I'm... Right, okay, I'm really stressed Hang on, again. hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't hang on. Everything's annoying me now. Are well, you texting Petra about it? Are you texting Petra about it? Tell, you've got to turn around. I know, I know. Are you texting Petra about it? Answer me. Bloody hell, we're getting a little insight into Joe Wilkinson. Here. No, it's not a little insight. You're annoying me. <laughs> You're not answering who do you, who do you any of think my... it is? You've got any idea? Well, I've got... I, I had it in my head it was someone we've worked with and I'd just go, oh, I'll be so... And now I don't think it is. Well, it might be. It might be. I don't think it is because you're, you, you're too happy that I'm... Hey, think it's let that. me just say something. You turning up at my office <laughs> out of the blue. <laughs> well... <laughs> and the uh. little games you were playing with me. And the but games you... Petra was playing with me. And Naomi. <laughs> okay, so what's this mean now then? God, if she has double bluff me, I'm gonna be, I actually think I'm going to be annoyed with her. <laughs> really? Well, because she did it really well. She went. <laughs> She's good, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. She went. Look, she <laughs> went. <gives> nothing <laughs> away. Well, she did. And I completely relaxed. And now I'm right. the opposite. I've gone. I'm not catching up hang with on, all my anxiety. Stop saying that on, it's driving me nuts. They're here. Oh, please say something. I'm just gonna go. <sighs> oh no, someone's here. What's the news? <laughs> <laughs> I should have more of a steward turned up. I, do you know what? For a second, I thought they've got a camera in the newsroom at the BBC. Oh my God. More of Stuart's going to come off. What? 
There's someone there. Oh god, come in. Sorry, whoever you are, I'm sorry. If the oh, if the guest is there, can you <laughs> can you tell the tell? I don't, I don't want to tell Joe <laughs> who you are. Go. Oh, oh, the guest is here. Yeah, I can hear the news. Guest is here. They're new, student. Also okay, the Joe, the guest is here. So, in your own time, turn around. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Sue. <laughs> We start with the Hi. Hello, Sue. So much oh, I can't you... hear. Oh, you can't. <laughs> oh no. I oh no. Hear. Oh no. That's we can hear right. the telly though. I thought it's it was a... now. Uh, now uh, the, we it? always have. We always have issues here. All right. Okay. <laughs> now, where do we go? How do we make this work? <laughs> the dog. Um, Look at the dog. <laughs> this is Sue Johnson, everyone. But with Sue the, can't with hear her, her With her Alsatian. With her. But Sue can't hear us. Can um, you hear? Can you hear us, Sue? Oh, God, let me text her. Okay. Why don't you uh, ring Sue? Yeah, I'll get my phone. I'm I'm going to phone you. <laughs> I'm going to phone. <laughs> I'm going to phone you, Sue. I don't but know what God. I'm going to say when I phone her because I haven't got anything else. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. Can you hear Can Sue? You hear me? Oh, yeah, but I've got her on speaker, David. That's what. Take, Can you hear take me? it off speakerphone. I can't Joe. hear you. No. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Um, oh, yeah, but we can hear Sue. She can't hear us, David. That's the okay, so, okay, but that's uh, one good thing. Okay, so. Please, please let Sue know I that it's perfect for our podcast. I'm so sorry. I never use this bloody thing, so. Um, David just pointed out this is the best start to any podcast we've ever done. <laughs> So you're is it ahead. live? Is it- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is all going in, Sue. Oh, right. go, yeah. go to settings. There's a I don't gray- know where settings are. Right. There's, if you look at, if you've got your desktop, there's like a grey square. <laughs> at the top. Oh. No, no. If you, like, you know on the desktop where you, if you clear it all out of the way and you've got icons, there's a grey one that says settings. And it's like grey with like, what looks like a cog. Oh, I've lost everything now. I've lost you. Oh. <laughs> I've lost... Um, well, you're still here. Oh, this is making me feel ill. Um, <laughs> how, how about, Joe? if Sue just FaceTimes you? Uh, and then we haven't got a... Hello. Why don't we do that? Hello? Can you, you, can oh, you can hear us. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Oh, oh. oh my God. So how's the IT courses going? I had <laughs> have this all weekend, and it was all. Ah. Oh. And he's turned the sound. He's muted the whole thing. Ah. Oh. Do you know what? I cannot believe we sorted that out. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Sue? Apart oh, from the stress the of dog's, talking to us. The dog's still here. It's... Oh, show us oh. the dog again. Yeah. Oh. It's, my, it's my new since I saw you. Pardon? Oh, really? New puppy. A new puppy. Well, yes, there's a puppy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a puppy. That's a puppy. Well, yeah. just as I'm, I said I'll show us. His head came around the corner like that. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that's yeah. not a puppy. That's a big lad. Oh my no. god. He, look. <laughs> How are you, Sue? Thanks for coming on and doing this. This is amazing. Do you, you know we do surprise guests for each other? I know. And uh, you were my surprise guest. Oh, what well, a lovely surprise. And I, I sort of tricked Joe into thinking that it might be someone that will make him feel tense. <laughs> yeah. You want to do that? <laughs> it's so nice that when it's over that bit, when you know it's, uh, it's you know the person, and you get oh, yeah. oh, I feel like I want to have a lie down. Um, what are you up to, Sue? 
Are you good? Are you well? Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good. How's it, David? How's it? Has it gone out? Your film? Yeah, it's got. It's gone. It's gone really. Re- been nominated, oh, nominated for a BAFTA, BAFTA suit. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So can I download it? Yeah, it's on Amazon now. Well, I don't know if you can, Sue, so after what's just happened. Yeah, I don't think you can. <laughs> People <Yeah>. can. <laughs> I've got I'll get my son to download it for me. I've got I've got to go to the I've got to go to the BAFTAs, Sue, and buy a tux. Oh god, he's got to buy a tux. <laughs> oh, you'll love it. Have you never been before? No. First time's always the best. We went yeah. when we were first in that first year on Brookside. Phil yeah. Ryan took us all. And then it was Film and Television Awards. Oh, they were together? Yeah, both together. It was very glamorous then because you'd have film stars wandering about. Yeah. Who did you see? Um, I can't remember now. I remember a, a very big male film star who I, because I'm old, I can't remember his name. <laughs> no. Back of my chair and I went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> I wonder who that was. I wonder if he watched the royal family and went, she told me off. She elbowed <laughs> me in the guts. <laughs> she <laughs> terrifies me, doesn't it? <laughs> family as well, because we were nominated a lot. Yeah. But the loveliest thing I, I remember, David, that you'll go, is when you go into the Grosvenor and you look down on the ballroom and the chandeliers, they're all... Yeah. That's the other dog. Um. They're all... Like, <laughs> is it? It's a breath away. The table's all laid yeah. up. I think we're at the I think we're at the Royal Festival Hall, I think. Oh wow. Oh they're on the South yeah, Bank. I think so. Gosh, that's very grand, yeah. Well, you know. Well good luck. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, I mean I genuinely don't expect it. The fact that we're I sound like one of those people now, but we won't win. But it I can't believe we're actually being invited. Oh yeah. well, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? And at least it gives you a lot of publicity for the film, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So lovely seeing your faces. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, um, what are you yeah. doing, Sue? What are you up to? Well, I just I haven't done much, to be honest. I'm doing um, – I just was away in Kent last week doing, again, a, an independent film. Oh, really? I did a bit for them last year, the same group of people who do these independent films. The last one I did was called The Last Twitch. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> Funny horrors. Um and this, originally, we read in lockdown on a Zoom call. It's taken that long for them to get yeah. the money sorted and mm. losing people. But anyway, I'm mum again. It's <laughs> <laughs> the grand mum, but mum of the lead actor. It's about a, a darts player who loses his arm. Um, but it's it's very funny. And uh, yeah. oh, I love people where where in kent is it at a place called cliff cliff is it on the coast i'll take it on the coast near rochester oh just, yeah, um near the docks that's your neck of the woods joe isn't it well it's near gillingham but right they asked you to play this part joe I think that's yeah the... i couldn't do it i'm a i'm away i'm filming an apple thing from from now basically Hi. yeah that's exciting yeah, it's not. It's always nice to do. Not nice to do something, isn't it? Get you out of the house, keep him busy, <laughs> keep him warm. <laughs> well, it is nice. It's sort of nice just to go away. Yeah. To um, do you, the Cotfields might. Is it? Can we say this, David? About the going on BBC? I think so. You know, it's going on the BBC, Sue. Is that de- you mentioned it? But is that definite? Well, yeah. It's either it's either going to be on BBC Two, or. It's definitely going to be on iPlayer. But they think BBC um, Two as well, potentially, yeah. It's fabulous. Yeah, with the potential of the second series as well, if the first went down well. Yes. Oh, might they want a, another series? <laughs> don't know. Wouldn't that be... Yeah, well, like Joe said, if we did another series, Joe would be bringing up back a girlfriend and Joe would be like 60 or <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll be a sort of arthritis based sort of third series where we're, I'm struggling with back pain, basically. <laughs> I'm 80 this year. You're not. Are you? It's so freaky. It's so weird. Honestly, um, Sue, if I look like you when I was eight, when I'm 80, I'll be over the moon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll happily like 
next couple of years? Well, it's very strange. So is it? Yeah, we're sort. Of, we're, uh, how how? Sorry, go on, Joe. No, no, I was just going to say, go on. You're, we are sort of. Into well, it. I like talking about old age, so yeah. because I think about it quite a lot. How tired are you when you're old? Is that a strange question? Because <laughs> I'm tired now. Well. Is it is it tiring just to? Get... <laughs> well, you get you do get tired, but I think. Why am I tired? Yeah. When I talk to my friends who are the same age, they go, because we're old. Yeah. yeah. That's what my mum says. She goes, I'm not doing that. I'm the thing old. is, Sue, you, you did things on the cockfields, and I remember thinking, I can't imagine my mum managing that. You'd be running around the garden, and and I just, I felt like you got loads of energy. Because you, you were sort of the lead on it. And you... 77, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's yeah. what I was sort of going. Oh my god! Like, because you you were basically in every scene for seven weeks. Was it eight? Weeks? Maybe nine weeks or something. And then I did. I do like the, the. You made the decision that the character would run everywhere, though. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> which was really funny. But you made that decision, so you were bombing <laughs> everywhere. And, we, and I remember. Do you remember the scene where you had to? Um, we were, me and you were talking, and then you had to run in, and there was a step, and you were like yeah. gazelling it over the step every time. And I was like, "Please don't stack it," because you were legging it across the garden. I was like, "We like did Colin it, Jackson." <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's adrenaline, isn't it? Yeah, working, you don't notice it, and then when you're finished, you're buggered. You know? Yeah, it's always. Do you feel, do you feel tired after a, a big filming? I don't really. I, I get no. more. I'm bored, to be honest. Yeah, right. As soon as I was away on that job, I'm up and I'm ready to I think there's something in my head that just loves to do the job. Yeah. But it still excites me after all this time. And you, I just, if you get a new job offer, do you go, do you, do you sort of just, you don't think of, and a stupid question, but like, oh, well, that might knacker me out or whatever. You just go, oh, that sounds exciting and just do it. Well, I've got a job in... Um, Starts the end of March, and that's that's six weeks, pretty full on. But it's great because we're all the five leads are over seventy, so oh no, comfort in knowing. Yeah, but but the, the conversations are ridiculous because none of us can remember names or places or where. Or, <laughs> right, it's okay. Yeah. gone, and so we spend hours going, oh, you know that what oh. <laughs> um, we, Oh, what was this name? <laughs> Sadly, yeah. we'll get to that point. But in a way, there's there's just a comfort in being with a group of people of your own of that age because there's an understanding. Um, yeah, you know, um, it is. Yeah. It's a strange time, and when I moan about about it, I have to think. This is a bit of a downer, but I have to think about the friends that I've lost along the way. Mm -hmm. Who world? To grow old, mm -hmm. yeah. so it's a privilege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a lot of it because I do say what I think to people now. Um, I don't hold back, and I <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, the text I'm getting from you right now, sir. <laughs> Horrendous language. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I I do feel at ease with with life, and um, yeah, worry about stuff, but yeah, everybody. Whatever age you are, you worry. It's funny because you know Brookside's back on. Oh, is it? I mean, Brookside from the beginning. Oh, okay. The, the, oh, wow. So I watched a couple of episodes with my son and his wife because she was an extra. They didn't know each other. She was an extra when she was a little girl in it. Right. We had Joel in a pram when he was three as an extra. <laughs> so we were trying to find <laughs> And. All I could do is I kept zooming in on my face because I didn't have any lines. It was <laughs> this unwrinkled face. <laughs> how, how old were you in Brookside? Were you... Started at 38. I was 38. And I was describing the press as a middle aged sex bomb. <laughs> Did you cut out the first? So I've bit? had that. I've had that. <laughs> I've had that. Without the second bit, to be fair, yeah. David. <laughs> Middle-aged David is playing the lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, Joe, I rang Sue up last year because I was doing a filming job 
and really panicking. And I rang Sue up to get advice on how not to panic on set. <laughs> Didn't I, Sue? I wanted to run away to the you hills. Went, you went to the top. You went to the very I did. Top. And Sue just said, oh, I panic. Yeah, I feel the same. Oh, yeah. That's mad. Everybody always feels scared, I think. And Yeah. So, so with, with someone like you, though, I think the, the problem is, is like we don't expect that. You know, we just kind of expect, oh, that's Sue, you know, because you've done so much amazing stuff. I think we go, oh, Sue's probably fine and relaxed. You know what I mean? Like, because everyone's sort of thinking not, obviously we're not in your head, so we're just going, oh, Sue probably, like, finds this a breeze or, or whatever. You know what I mean? And yeah. I do to know, hear you panic. Is, it's, when we're doing the Royal Family, we did a one-off a Christmas one with Tom Courtney. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, Dave's dad. Yeah. And we were all so excited that I was having Sir Tom Courtney. And um, and Ricky came over when we'd started shooting with Tom. And he, thought, he was nervous, you could tell. And Ricky went, why is he nervous? <laughs> yeah. Why is he nervous? And you suddenly realise that even Tom Courtney on a new set with new people. Mm. Yeah. Sort of. All your senses are... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's lovely to know in a way, though, isn't it? Mm? Yeah. It's lovely to know in a way. Because you go, oh, it's fine then if I'm panicking. Yes. Yeah. Everybody's. My fear, Sue, was or is performing on set and then just getting a glimpse of the director just going mm. <laughs> 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 or just just finding little clues where you think oh they're not happy that's my fear or it, of... yeah oh i read i was reading i'm reading matthew perry's autobiography oh and uh have you done have you done any work in america i did too? we did a little short film uh which Jim Cartwright wrote in lockdown, the two of us on Zoom like this. And um, we're still waiting to try and get together and do a screening. Oh, really? um, it was rather lovely. And um, who was that? Yeah, that was you and who, Sue? Did you just say Matthew Kelly? Oh, no, no. No. So, oh, Matthew. Matthew Perry. No, Matthew Kelly's brilliant, isn't he? We, we were obsessed. We're obsessed with Matthew Kelly. He's yeah. brilliant. Oh. Well, I'll try and get you this little film to see, show you. Oh. Um, or we're ha hoping to have a screening in London. It's a really sweet little, typically Cartwright story. What, what's, it, what's the story? Can you say? Or whatever? About two old, well, I was an old glamour girl in the 60s, not me, the character. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, she was, he was her pimp. She was more than a glamour girl, if you get what right. I Oh, so, 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 so. It's not kind. Yeah. Of, it's not that kind of podcast. Big deep for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we come back together and uh, meet up again because somebody who was in our past comes in, in rather to threaten us on where we are in our lives. Yeah, and so it's funny and quite moving about where they are and their past. It's yeah. very, very short. Um, but it was lovely to do. It was lovely to work with Matthew because I've known him for a long time, but never worked with him. Oh, have you? We we um, started watching his stuff. He's a really good actor, isn't he? Like he's sort of like we we started watching his stuff, and we were like, "Wow, he's amazing!" Like, but he's not sort of remembered for that, is he? I think because he, he did all the hosting stuff, you know. Uh, and um, mm. we sort of went down a rabbit hole of his stuff. Yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah, he is a good actor. Yeah, yeah. lovely. It was his real, isn't he? It's just yeah. Have a, yeah, and when's the screening? Well, we haven't got a date yet because he's now in America. Oh, is he doing a theatre show in America? Oh yeah. Um, but I don't know what it is, or I did know, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't listen, did you? Say you didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about our our listeners, and I would, if I was listening to this, I'd really want to. Sorry, the dog is pressing the... No. <laughs> I like the fact your whole <laughs> laptop went up and down. Sorry, the dog's head butting the laptop. Sure. Yeah. I'd really want to know about the royal family. Yes. If I was listening. Okay. 
we have asked all this, but we're doing. I know, it. I know, no, I know, I but I love it so much. I'm, it's... I know. When did you know that it was going to, or that it could be a brilliant show? Was it as soon as you read the scripts, well, or when we towards the end of filming? I remember Ricky saying, "This is either going to be a huge success, or it be on, going out at midnight." Because right. I didn't know. Yeah. And I was. Um, I was staying at the time in uh, with my friends. I hadn't got a place in London then, and I was staying with my friends David Thacker and Marco Lester. And I came home with, they gave us a cassette of all, before it went out of all, oh. they, rough cuts. So I went home and I, I said, Do you, wanna watch? you can watch it if you like. And I went to bed, and the next morning they went, we stayed up and watched, well, I think it was six. Uh, we watched it six because we just thought it's, um, and those to me are such great critics. Yeah. Trust them, their judgment. Wow. I thought, oh, maybe maybe it is going to be. You, you, <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened, you knew it was good then. You know what I mean? Because sometimes good stuff still goes, not unnoticed, but doesn't get the record. So you, but you knew it was great because they, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like cop. Wow! Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I love doing that. I loved it. And I love Rovers. I love Rovers. I know it's really annoying, isn't it? It's really, <laughs> not really annoys us. It's annoying. It's well, yeah, it's I've really just got, frustrating. I can remember when we did the read through for Rovers, and you walked. I can remember you walking in, and I was going, "What am I doing?" I was sort of looking at you, then not looking at you because it was. I was like, why can't I cope with Sue Johnson just walked in? I was sort of going, my head, I could tell I was like staring then go, don't stare. But now I'm like looking away from it. Like I couldn't cope when you walked well, in. Well, because me and Joe got together to write because of our love of obviously Royal Family and Early Doors. And then when Craig got involved, that absolutely blew our mind. And then he got you involved. Like, well, yeah, it was, it was incredible. sort of like, Get, you know, like like you go, you've got three wishes. What are they? What? <laughs> yeah. Is this is <laughs> okay? Yeah. This is, three is wishes this... <laughs> are a sitcom commission, Craig Cash, and Sue Johnson. Please. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> by by Thursday. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. when when we wrote Rovers, um, me me and David decided we were going to write a sitcom, and I remember David te uh, texting me. I was driving back from his house, and uh, I just got the. Tech, and I pulled over and it said, and I can remember where it was, it was a village in Sussex. David said, Craig Cash likes our script. And I just sat there looking at the phone. Yeah. <laughs> and and we had we had a probably an hour conversation going, that's that's good enough now. Yeah. Like if if it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then yeah. <laughs> it just kept going. It's <laughs> weird. It's yeah. weird because I can remember coming to that. And you are as shy nervous mm. you don't think people are feeling like yeah. that. You, know, you just feel i feel the same as i did on that jobs i've done all the way that i'm going to be judged and people and like you said about people you see the director roll in his eyes the other thing is we see the director and the producer going dip, 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 oh my god yeah. that's it i'm out yeah yeah <laughs> Oh my God! I don't know what it is that we never think that we. I oh, know. Well, maybe that's a good thing that we don't. Yeah. Think I'm, I'm great, and everybody's loving me being here. Although I'm feeling rather arrogant about BAFTA now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, so this is the first time he hasn't spoken about. I it. might just strut in there and enjoy myself. <laughs> for once. Going in a white suit. <laughs> Anti-establishment. Yeah. We got. A BAFTA, another BAFTA for yeah, yes, I've had several of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, whatever. What <laughs> even the BAFTA, the royal family won for best comedy, and we're all given a BAFTA on stage. Ricky, me, Craig, and Caroline all got a BAFTA, and then we went off back set backstage to be interviewed by the press. And then when we'd done the press interview, they took them off us. What did they? And Craig could keep theirs, but they took ours off. Oh. And I was so, no. so upset. Oh, I think they're letting us keep ours if we win, Sue. So. <laughs> they're making you a giant one, aren't they, David? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. in that corner there. Next, next time we're on this. It'd yeah. Be, it'd be front and centre on his Zoom. Yeah, we there. David would be looking round <laughs> his bathtub. Right. Yeah. What was Caroline like, Sue? Was she amazing? Yeah. Yeah. Can I go and get something and show it you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> I tricked you, Joe. Honestly. That tapping I was doing, tap, texting Petra, I wasn't texting anyone. Well, that was quite good acting then. That was nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Who did that? Was it, that's Caroline. Yeah. yeah. Who, who painted it? I don't know. A friend of A. Gromby. It's lovely. Oh, wow. Friend of Ricky's. Ricky, when she died, Ricky had those painted for us. Yeah. And so I have it at the bottom of my staircase on the wall. Oh, how lovely. Oh, really? Every morning. Wow. Because I, I, I remember around that time, I think we were doing Rovers and Craig was saying that Caroline had watched it and really loved it and maybe would be coming to set. Oh, I remember and... fantasising that she might come on set. Yeah. Because um, uh, yeah. he'd done a production the the um the year before with some other guys and um caroline lived nearby and had popped on set and from that point on i thought about very little else when we've got the commission i was like maybe is it manchester maybe maybe caroline will have the afternoon and pop yeah. in and yeah. we'll all hit it off and ah. <laughs> oh she was just incredibly special and witty um yeah. generous um, in the, when we were doing the series, every Friday night when we finished, there would be a table full of champagne and beers and everything for everybody. Uh, yeah. Remember that, okay? If you do. <laughs> Fanta yeah. for everyone, Sue, on our job. Yeah. Funny, and she sort of do uh, one of my things because, of course, we shared the same producer, John Rushton. Yeah. One after, in the afternoon, like about Thursday afternoon, you know, you get a bit tired, and she's going. I think we've all lost our sparkle. Johnny Rushton. <laughs> Johnny Rushton, I think we've got some champagne. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, can amazing. I can imagine John, yep, yep. And then, because he, he makes everything happen, doesn't he? He's like a sort of magician. Yeah. Champagne for everyone. Thank you, John. <laughs> yeah. I know. But she, she would get very upset and frustrated if things weren't going right and she would disappear into her dressing room and so uh, then then she'd take the piss out of herself and reacting in this silly way mm. then we decided we'd have a naughty corner and if anybody acted badly you had to go in the naughty corner and the naughty corner grew and grew and grew <laughs> props went mad until they <laughs> built a jail <laughs> really put blue light over the top so <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. It was just she created the atmosphere and Craig, and she just, I don't know, she just had a kindness, but she had a yeah. sadness too. There was a, mm. you know, she was desperate for love and it never worked out. And I don't know, she was just very, 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 very special. Were you in contact with her at all near the end? Or Yes. Were you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The saddest thing was that she was on her own. She died on her own because nobody saw it coming. A brother oh my God. to Portugal yeah, no, no. because they thought she was doing okay um, or that it wasn't imminent. But mm. she died on her own, which is, again, terribly, terribly sad. Mm. I, think, I think we were working with Craig, I think, around the time and, they brought a coffin in to the theme tune. I would like to leave this city. Oh, well, yeah. we finished before we started. And Craig was magnificent, but wept all the way through his little speech. So, oh, this is a downer, isn't it? No, like, no. Oh, God, no. It's just... But no, she... it bloody well is, <laughs> I know. I'll let it out my bit. He <laughs> <laughs> was very, very funny and warm and just lovable. Yeah. Mm. Well, adored her. And, and she was a, a really good actress. Very, yeah. very. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So believable. How did, how did it happen that you played her mum? What was the, 
did you audition for it or did she approach you? How did it? Ricky was at uh, the RTS Awards in the North. Um, she came up, he texted me the next day and he went, it is Carolina Hearn, who's a new by Mrs. Merton. Oh, yes. Mm. And, uh, and what a creation that was. Yeah. Amazing. He said, but Carolina Hearn came up to me and he said, I think she's pissed. <laughs> You're going to be my dad, and Sue Johnson's going to be my mum. And he went, really? <laughs> what do you think she means? <laughs> wow. Today, the scripts arrived, and he rang again, and he said, what do you think? And I said, well, quite funny, but much. And then from there, we went to Granada and yeah. read through. Kathy Burke was at the read through playing. Was she? Jessica Hines Parks. Oh, really? Oh. What? Didn't know that. Right. I just, oh, no, sorry. That's right. I might get water. Sorry, I've got a cough. Excuse me for one sec. I don't want to cough down the mic. Well, that's gone. It's gone. It's <laughs> <laughs> a funny little moment. <laughs> but I thought was, Sue was going to get a phone call, and I thought well, I'll take that. Is producer of Brookside, LA Productions. You know, do you know Colin? No. 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 He does all Jimmy's stuff, you know, he's a great major. Right. We're all still mates, the whole lot of us. In fact, Andy Lynch, one of the ex-writers, uh, he rang me yesterday. We're all going to watch some talents together, Jimmy and Ricky, oh. uh, Colin, going to watch the Saints as a change to watch in Liverpool. Oh, I was going to oh. say commiserations, Sue. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh. I wasn't going to say a single thing. No, I really feel for you at this time. Oh. Jürgen Klopp uh, got done for speeding. What was that? Jürgen Klopp got done for speeding? Yeah, he'd do anything for three points. <laughs> <laughs> Get it in early. Are you watching them at the moment, Sue? Uh, yeah, I've not been. I've not been to a lot because they're crap. The <laughs> oh. <laughs> game was the last game, but there's only been one home game since then. And right. uh, what's happened though, Sue? I can't unless I get someone to drive me. I can't go at night. Yeah, what what's happened to Liverpool in your? No idea. No. Incomprehensible. And actually, name drop, name drop. I was talking yeah. to Thompson the other night. And talking to who? Bill Thompson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Sure. And. He, doesn't, he can't figure it. People can't figure it. And when they was at the game, they were in, interviewing Steve Staunton in the lounge, another player. Nobody has an answer. There's lots no. of different theories. But just, like, Wolves that, played you off the park the other day, didn't they? Like, no, not to rub it in, but like, it was. I was watching like Robertson and Salah and Trent Alexander having rings run round them. I'm like, in the Champions League, <laughs> like the Champions League final yeah. like, a few months ago. I and they just it's tired. just their desire to want to win again if you've got to the top. You've got to do it all again the next season. It was a period like? at the beginning of the season when they started off really badly and we still had hope that they might improve. The theory was <clears throat> they'd done so much in that season before and then narrowly missed right. mm. and the league. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was like, how, what, that Mentally. was like, what impact on you. Mm. But by now, you'd have expected that. Yeah. Too. But if it's sort of in the DNA, you know, like, you know what I mean? Everyone's sort of like, oh, come on, do this again. And and it, I also think Virgil van Dijk not being on doesn't help. No, but they, they've done it without him before. Although everyone says you can't just rely on one, and you can't just rely on one person in the team, mm. but he generates so much, he never stops. Mm, yeah, and I do think sometimes somebody missing like that can affect players. And yeah. also, Henderson's getting a bit older, and he when he's on when he's playing, he's almost what thirty nine. I mean, he's thirty nine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Henderson sort of he he. He sort of drives the team when he plays, isn't he? And he's not really doesn't really play regularly now. No. But he's still got the <coughs> when you watch him for England and stuff, it's like that. When he comes on, it's a completely different team. Yeah. So, so when he's no, no offense, but you know, a few years ago when he was 
bit younger and playing every game, you had a leader. Yeah. Put your leader's on the bench now. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. I might have said. So. really feel like we're kicking you while you're down there, so... Uh, <laughs> to be honest, Sue, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, you've had, I'm, you've had I'm loads of good I'm loving Mr. Seasons. Ten Hag. I am loving Mr. Ten Hag. You take the all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. It was a bit of risk. When you go to watch Liverpool, who, who who are you with? Who do you sit with, Sue? Um, well, I go with my son, if you yeah. can. It's these bloody night matches. I hate them because he can't get there. Cause There's he so many, aren't there? Yeah. So many. Mm. But I sit at the table with two mates that have been my mates for years and years and years and years. We're yeah. all on one table. And there's another table next to us of mates. And then there's loads of people who've all, who always sit in the same seats. Oh, lovely. Oh, I, bet that, I bet it's great. Yeah, it, it's fabulous. Bottles of wine, Sue? Bottles of wine? Several of those, yeah. They, you get a glass of champagne when you arrive. But the best place, um, it's a very, very big room. And in the middle of two of these big rooms is called the International Lounge, which is fabulous. Oh. <laughs> oh, expensive. But Colin, that guy just rang, he has a table in there. Oh, and so, how do I get to know Colin? I, I sometimes go with Colin. Sometimes Colin is I bet you do. in the room. Yeah. And McGovern comes and Ricky. Oh, wow. And like Ricky Stark was at the Chelsea game. So it's oh. fab. But there. You can choose which wines you want. <laughs> this is football. This is football. Right. Yeah. I'm so luxurious. Yeah. We, we spoke to Craig Cash about oh, Man City so and going funny. to Man City, and he said the majority of the time he's too <laughs> hammered to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> he can't remember the score or anything. <laughs> he says he gets to watch it twice. <laughs> because he goes to the game, gets hammered, then sort of sobers up for match of the day, and then goes, God, we won 3 1. <laughs> <laughs> I went with some friends <clears throat> and last season to Man City and was sat near Craig. We were in the same room that he, where he oh, had. Oh, did he talk to you? <laughs> it was great. It was yeah. just. Uh, but, yeah, he did look pretty hammered. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's his sort of one vice. He goes, because he goes with his missus and they, they yeah. get a taxi there, have a few too many wines, forget the result, go home, watch match of the day. I thought, that is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. It's, it's really good fun. Yeah. I do love it. And, and I still, the best bit is always you'll never walk alone. Sorry to rub that in, but just to be in that. Yeah. Stay here. Yeah. And sing that song with such passion. I've never been yeah. to Anfield. I must go. Mm. I've started following Exeter, Sue. Oh. Exeter City. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've got a season ticket. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We, I mean, we only get. <laughs> you don't know what to say, really. No, no, it's embarrassing, <laughs> isn't it? <sir? laughs> Tickets in that. <laughs> there's, there's always a few spares going at the David. If you I ever can, want to, um, we could all go down, have a little. Yeah, could you? Yeah. If you want me to send you this book about Peter Tisdale, <laughs> he took Exeter up from the National League to League One. So if you want, if you ever want to borrow that, <laughs> how do you get to the point in your life, Sue, where you borrow that? <laughs> <laughs> when I retire, yeah, 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 still don't bother. I haven't watched the Wrexham documentary. Oh, so. oh so. yeah, great. Uh, great. Are, yeah. are they Netflix? Are they on Netflix? Uh, uh, Dis Disney? Disney. Disney, Disney, Disney. I think. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really good. It's amazing. Um, that's just a great story, isn't it? So yeah. I was watching it, Sue. I've, I've told Dave this hundred times. I was, I was in a hotel, and my friend said, "Oh, you got to watch it." I started watching it. And um, about seven minutes in, a lad that me and David know from years ago walks in, and he's the the person who basically started this whole thing. He's the one who got um, the two Hollywood A Ryan Reynolds, it? Ryan and Reynolds, and Rob McEnany. Yeah, we used to be on the comedy circuit with him, really? and he went over to LA to write for one of their shows. And he was yeah. watch. He would watch like the football, like a. Uh, uh, at lunch, because in L the time in LA, so he'd be watching an evening game at lunch. He's a big Liverpool fan, funny enough. And uh, they're big sports fans, and they he started talking about football, blah, blah, blah. And one of, uh, I think it's Rob said, 
how, can, can, you know, can you buy a club? And he just said, well, you can't buy Liverpool. You know, they're too expensive. And then he, they started talking about it. And then it happened. And it was all due to our friend. Yeah, and he, I, was, I think the Rob guy said to Humphrey, go over and find a club we can buy. And I'd rather have that, wouldn't you, than some Middle Eastern conglomerate. Coming yeah, up yeah. It's, it's, and I, it's funny, they're getting a little bit of backlash now because, like, Wrexham are kind of getting a bit of attention and stuff. But I think it's great for football that, like, they're, it, like people are sort of being drawn into, like, lower league football. Mm. through this it doesn't matter how it happens but I think there's always there's always resentment isn't there when someone gets especially you know, what football's sense. like yes yeah. I've noticed resentment coming flying fast this morning <laughs> well you had about 15 minutes of it yeah to be fair <laughs> a couple of smuggies going it's not all gold is it not all Champions League finals Jim <laughs> Macclesfield oh. <laughs> yeah sorry about that <laughs> God we've been here before I mean that's football, isn't it? Yeah. It gets me, and I think it gets everybody, is is the money. It's like this whole, oh, we could get Bellingham, 150 million. Yeah. We were talking about it last week, thinking, I remember Trevor Francis. I do. Old for a million. I, yeah. yeah. I think my dad yeah. said it can't go higher than that. It could never go higher than that. That's stupid money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 150 million. It's just. Yeah. And you think the bubble has to burst. It's. Uh... Yeah. Well, it just keeps going up, though. And it's sort of like it's the wages as well. You sort of go, oh, do you know someone like, I don't know, whoever gets a million a game now? And you're like, what? A million a game. Yeah. It's, it's quite common. Mm. Well, where I live here, round here, there's a lot of footballers. Oh, who would you say? Oh, yes. Well, one of the funniest occasions was I was coming out of the health centre, driving down the hill from up, just across there, and I just had my jab, my COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was running up the hill on his phone laughing, Mo Sour. What? So I stood up the breeze. <laughs> And I can just see him disappearing. And I'm thinking, wow. what do you expect to do now? <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to get out and run after him. I don't, I, thought, yeah. I don't know why. I thought footballers wouldn't just run in public. I don't know why. I just thought they'd... You know, he sits in, we've got a, like um, a precinct in Winslow. He goes in there, sometimes sits in the cafe in the afternoon. What, well, as a current pub? I start to go in the <laughs> <laughs> the usual Mr. Seller. Yes, please. A tea and a current bun and a copy of The Mirror. <laughs> wow. There's a lot. Yeah, there are. I know James Milner bought the house opposite the pub that we often go to and, <laughs> and pulled the, this beautiful old house down and built oh, this. No. Also do, oh, no. Oh, Milner, if you're listening, you're better than that. Sue, have you ever met anyone where you've been starstruck? I'm always starstruck with footballers. Yeah. Are you? Uh, not not actors really. No, film stars, but footballers. Yeah, I just I think probably because it's a different career. Yeah, they're like mythical creatures, footballers, aren't they? Because when um, when Phil Thompson was a uh, assistant manager and they used to stand on the touchline when Julio had a heart attack and went in. Oh yeah, and Phil took over and the the oppositional bands always used to sing. Sit down, Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> God almighty. That's so basic. Uh, I knew God. through Phil an awful lot of the players, like Penny. Yeah. Was, they were mates and did a lot of, uh, I did a lot of um, charity stuff with them and got to know them. But the new team, because they kept away so much, mm. I, think, I think meeting Jürgen, did, did you know I went, uh, oh, can I just go and show you something else? Yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Lazy weekday morning. Give me that for you. Lazy weekday morning. Give me that for you. Podcasting, recording, giving it up to you. 
No happened. idea what this is going to be. Things I haven't felt for many years. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Right, for the listeners, there's a rather romantic photo of Sue and Jürgen Klopp. That looks very romantic. Is that, is that your wedding day? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was very, very, it was very, very... I love the I love the frame you put it in. It's quite a lovey frame. It's like... <laughs> 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 wow. So what, what was he like? He and I were announced on the same day at betting. Sorry. That's all right. It'll be the postman. Um, <laughs> we were getting freedom of the city of Liverpool. Um, and so he had his. I haven't had mine yet, but you will get an invite. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. So I was invited <laughs> to Jürgen's ceremony where he got the freedom of the city and then the party afterwards and he came over to say hi um and did those delicious hugs so, <laughs> four I hours later you gave him a bit that. of space so. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well i he introduced me to some german friends of his that were over and i speak a bit of german so i spoke german to him, and he went oh and she speaks german too <laughs> i was like a Pathetic. <laughs> is he very tall? So I imagine him quite tall. He's very, he? very. The teeth are quite striking as well. Let's be honest. Oh, lovely. He's a clever man as well. He's yeah. a, got lovely broad shoulders as well. And a good he? hugger, good cuddler. <laughs> Cuddle, I <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Your eyes went somewhere else then for a minute. Yeah. So. <laughs> very good cuddler. <laughs> very, very good. Do you want a minute, sir? Do you need a minute? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, yeah, when I, yes, people like that, of footballers standing with them thinking, God, I don't know what to say. You know, no, you know, no, get that. Oh, and Maggie Smith, I couldn't think of a word, a, a thing to say to Maggie Smith. Yes, yeah. yes, um, Downton. Scared. Scared. Oh, frightened to death of us. She's very frightening. Is she? Is she? Yes, but in her, oh gosh, yes, she doesn't suffer fools, so you're oh, frightened. God, I must that. never meet her. The crew or anybody, everybody's on. Ooh. Oh. She's um, very good. Wow. Lovely. Underneath all that, there's a very yeah. sentimental woman. We were doing this scene, and it was her last scene in the series, and I had a couple more after her. But I, it was a scene where I'd cooked her this soup, so she had sweeps in and takes a spoonful. And my Gemma was in labour with her second kid, and she was having a bit of a bad time. So I took my phone on set with me, which I know we all do now, but in those, when they first came out, people were, they didn't do it. Mm. I hid it in this bloody brass pot. <laughs> <laughs> Best place to put it, isn't it? Best put, yeah, no. Well, 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 well yeah, good thinking. In with the spoon down, and she gets here. The phone, <laughs> it's like that. And going on. The echoey vase that you'd put it in. Almost. Put the spoon down. Exit. Wow. And everyone went, who suppose that? <laughs> <laughs> It soothes oh, my wow. naughty corner. My daughter's having a baby and I didn't know it. <laughs> sort of went to, and sort of got on with it. But when I went to leave that day, I went, I went into makeup. She'd left a little note saying, this is my home phone number, Sue. Ring me and let me know how your daughter gets oh, on. Oh, what a lovely ending. I know. I'm oh, so mean about it. And actually, when we did the film last year, and I went back and I had to spend a lot of sitting time with her off set. And we had a ball. 
she was eleven. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Telling stories about, you know, and the the other day, um, oh, what a lovely war was on, and I don't know whether you watched it, but my God, what a film about the First World War! It's a musical, and she comes in. She is. She storms it. She's amazing. Really. It's a brilliant film. It is a really brilliant film. Yeah. Um, it does say an awful lot about war. Yeah. Oh, really? But she's fantastic in it. Sue, so you're you're an amazing actor, obviously. Mm. But have you have you ever played opposite someone and they've produced a performance that's sort of blown your socks off? Is there anyone you can think of? Joe Wilkinson. <laughs> Joe. Uh, of course. Joanne, no, Joanne Wilkinson. <laughs> <laughs> Who went on to do very little else. But what she did was wonderful. Uh, yeah. I bought to love working with Alan Armstrong. I've done some yeah. very good stuff with him. And he, I love working with him because he's just, he's watchable. And so he's just great to use. Yeah. And, and so and I love working with Ricky because Ricky was really bloody real. I yeah. mean, like, yeah. He grabbed my hair and smacked my face. Yeah. <laughs> I did it back. Um, yeah. Forward to see all that. But gosh, who? Yeah, I've worked with some extraordinary people and some. Mm. Um, and Trevor Eve, you know, Trevor was and is a wonderful actor. He could be, mm. tricky, but ador- again, adorable. But he, he, he was only tricky because he cared. He wanted yeah. to be right. And sometimes, press of that. Can we get to you? you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he used to get to him because he wanted everyone to be doing as much as he, mm. as much as he put in. And he was yeah. a fabulous actor, fabulous. And the other thing, and I've seen people like I saw Imelda Staunton in um, a musical. I'm going to forget the musical now, the National, and she blew me away. Sometimes going to see people on stage. And Albert Finney blew me away. I had loved him, and and I was lucky to play opposite him in a series called My Uncle Silas. Did two series of it, and I loved working with Albert. And Albert is a lesson to all actors because he knew every name of everybody on the set. Yeah, he made it his job to go hello to them every morning, and he was just extraordinary. He said, "You've got to always do that. You've got, and you've got to." Uh, what do you say? Know everybody's name and hang your costume up at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that, yeah. Do you know what? It's spot on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember coming up to you in the Cockfield Sue, saying, how do you act? Oh, I, <laughs> not in the so, middle of this now, David. <laughs> yeah, not in the middle of the scene. <laughs> Walking <laughs> on, cameras rolling. How are oh, you doing this? I love doing the Cockfields. I just... But you just said, I don't know, I just pretend. I thought, well, that's not good enough. I need you to tell me how. <laughs> Don't keep it a secret. Yeah. Tell me your magic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going over to Prescott next week. They've built the new Shakespeare Theatre. Oh. Shakespeare North There's a big theatre, and they've built it as the old Shakespeare Theatre because they discovered that Shakespeare actually stayed at Nosley Hall uh, with his troupe of players and played in Prescott. So they've recreated this Shakespeare theatre, and it's where I went to school. The Prescott's are like dump. It's really <laughs> great. That's where I grew up, you know. Went to school right, just and everything. Yeah. So they invited me over to go and see the theatre and meet them all. Yeah. And I just feel that sort of like full circle. From, yeah. Right. You know, from school to back to Prescott and um. I don't know. Don't know why I'm telling you that. Around. No, it's, that, it's great. I... Well, it's a dump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, most of our <laughs> listeners are from there. So, so it's the thing. We've just lost a chunk of our listeners. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Sue, so, for coming this on is, today. I literally can't believe how, I, when I saw you, I was so elated. I, it, was, it shows it showed in your face. Because I rarely, we'll take rarely a... smile. You know that. I could have spoken straight <laughs> <laughs> Favorite stuff. That was that was fantastic. Yeah, love you both, you boys, and you too. I can't believe it. But it's so lovely to see you. I'm over the moon. Pardon? What's that? You writing anything else or you're acting? Uh, do, sort of doing a lot of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like seeing, like yeah. chatting to people like you, Sue. Um, 
fun. Oh, you never, you never know, Sue. I hope, fingers crossed, come April, May. To see Cockfields on the BBC, I think that's about be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So many people love it. I know. I've I always thought, yeah, oh, it does get... if we could just get a bigger audience, I think people would. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, yes, fingers crossed. I mean, like, but it's, it's, I'm over. I have to admit, I'm over the moon. It's going on the BBC. Yeah, good. It should be. That yeah. feels like a nice little thing. Yeah. But hopefully, people like Thank it. Thank you, Sue. Thank you Thanks, for everything. So Thanks for coming to on. See you. Lovely to see you both. Bless you. Bye, we'll love. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. -bye. Thanks a million. Bye. 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 -bye. I switch it off, don't I? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this could be another fifteen minutes. <laughs>